Hi guys, it's Friday and today we're going to do, do things a little differently. Firstly, I don't have any albums, I don't have any CDs. Uh, I have a video that was gifted to me and it features our lead artist today. Now this fellow started out as a rock and roller. He was part of the Million Dollar Quartet with Elvis Presley, Carl Perkins, Jerry Lee Lewis, but he really earned his uh, fame as a country music legend. And I'm talking about Johnny Cash. Uh, I don't really have any Johnny Cash albums. Uh, growing up, I mean, we knew of Ring of Fire, we knew of I Walk the Line, and there wasn't FM radio available the way there is, you know, nowadays or even in the mid-70s. And mainly the only songs you really heard was whatever's on AM radio. And if you happen to get a hit that was a crossover and could work on AM radio, that really helped out. And this was the case with Johnny Cash. I mean, Folsom Prison Blues got a lot of airplay. And one of his most, to me, memorable songs was actually written by a fellow who is a, a playwright, a cartoonist, a children's book writer. And I'm talking about Shel Silverstein. And that was Johnny Cash's A Boy Named Sue, which appeared on the San Quentin album. Now, while I don't own those albums, I do recognize some of the tunes. But the, the video I'm talking about, it says here, it's Johnny Cash, a concert behind prison walls. And the only date on it I see is 1997, and then there were some new dates of 2003, 2004. So I'm going to say it's probably back in the late 1990s that we're looking at. Now, what makes this interesting is he's got a lot of special guests. Now, I don't know if you remember, back in, the, I'm going to say in the early 70s, Johnny Cash actually had a TV show. And I used to see that when my parents would watch it, and I'd watch with them. And again, there were some good players on there. We had Bob Dylan one time guesting on the show. Now, Bob Dylan had invited Johnny Cash to duet with him on his Nashville Skyline album. And they did the song Girl from the North Country, which Bob had recorded back in the early 60s on his Freewheel and Bob Dylan album. But, so, he was no stranger to Johnny Cash. It was kind of made sense that he would be on the show. So it was great to see those kind of players getting a chance to be on network television, which normally people like Dylan weren't getting him. Anyways, on this album, we've got uh, Johnny Cash, but he's joined by three special guests. Foster Brooks doing some comedy. The uh, great instrumentalist Roy Clark, and some of you may remember Roy Clark as being the co-host of a, it was kind of a country version of Laugh-In. And again, this is back in the 70s, uh, called Hee Haw. It was him and Buck Owens kind of hosted the show. And Roy did a lot of playing. And if you ever look on YouTube or you've had a chance to see him, he's just a fantastic instrumentalist. And he guests on this, uh, this set with Johnny Cash too. And for me, the highlight of it is who I consider one of the most fabulous singers we've had during my area, during my era, not area, uh, Linda Ronstadt, guest with a couple of tunes. Now, if you remember Linda Ronstadt in her early years was doing a more country flavored type of recording so it kind of fit in with this as well. Uh, there's no word on who else is playing with him, uh, no idea who the band is unless you happen to recognize some of the players. I'll just give you some idea what the set list was, we've got Folsom Prison Blues, again big hit, Sunday Morning Coming Down, the Chris Christopherson tune, uh, Jacob Green, we've got Desperado and You're No Good by Linda Ronstadt. Rolling in my sweet baby's arms, the honeymoon feeling, shucking the corn, half as much, two more Linda Ronstadt's, uh, Love Has No Pride and Silver Thread and Gold Needles, Hey Porter, Orange Blossom Special, which if you've ever seen Johnny Cash play this, he's doing it with two harmonicas and switching between the two. It's really kind of interesting to watch. And of course, A Boy Named Sue, which I've got to say probably was one of his biggest crossover hits. So. It's not an album. You might find some of the clips on YouTube. Um, like I say, if you can get your hands on one of these, and I'm gonna guess this was kind of like a discount bin find. Um, I don't know about a lot of country music when I used to go through the record stores and video, but this one was great because we had some extra players in there that kind of helped out. And again, we got to hear Johnny Cash. And even if you're not a country fan, you have to recognize he was a legend of country music. He's a uh, holds a special place up there with uh, people like Willie Nelson, people like uh, Will and Jennings, the ones that are kind of legends and, you know, are going to continue on. Their, their music will live on long after they've passed away. So if you get a chance, check it out. 
If you're lucky enough to get this and get the special guest, that's a bonus. But take a listen. And if you go back into music of the early 50s or mid 50s, they do have the recording of the Million Dollar Quartet. So you get to hear him, Carl Perkins, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Elvis all recording together. They did a recording in 1956 on some records. Even that might be worth checking that out if you get a chance. Okay, that's it for Friday. Everybody have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Take care. Thanks for stopping by.